everyone. So this is going to be a Amazon Kindle Paperwhite sort of video. Um, it's not really a review and it's not really, um, it's not really anything in particular. I just really want to talk about how much I love it and some of the books that um, I've read on it and just what I've been enjoying and I also wanted to show you guys my Goodwill haul that I got recently and just kind of talk about that. So um, we'll start with the Goodwill first because that uh, these are the ones I've had the longest. So I found The Stand by Stephen King. Um, it's obviously well loved, um, but I just thought it's it's very much printed in um, a older sort of format, uh, the kind that I think of whenever I was reading books as a kid. Um, this has the copyright, of course, at 1978, but it looks like this one was printed in 91. So that makes sense. I mean, I was born in that. That's crazy. This book is as old as me. Um, so I was also born in 91. Um, and so this just kind of had, um, some nostalgia, I guess, to it. And it's just, it looks, it looks really big. Um, there are... Oh my gosh, there are 1,100 pages. I didn't even realize it was that big whenever, um, I was looking at it. Oh my god, <laughs> that's bigger than I thought it was. Uh, so any hoo-ha, that is, uh, terrifying, let me just say. Um, but it just, it's one of those classics that I feel like everyone has either read or seen the movie and... It's just one that I feel like needs to be read. So this may be one of those that I keep by my bedside and read at night or I don't know. I hope to read this by the end of the year, but this may just be one that I put somewhere and hope for the best. This was only $7 when it came out. It's funny because I saw a, a really nice uh, Barnes and Noble edition of the stand the, just this last week, and it was like fifteen dollars for it, which is funny because I don't know. It's just weird how this was probably brand new at the time, and now a paper bag, you know, is at least ten. So I don't know. I just think it's funny how prices, you know, inflation and value is just so strange. I mean, it's still the same text, it's still really the same book, but it's just interesting. So, moving on from that tangent, um, I also got The Similarian, I can't remember how to say that, um, and I'm pretty excited about this. I have read the Tolkien books as a kid, The Lord of the Rings, um, The Hobbit. Recently, I read them with my students, and... We rewatched all the movies. It's a lot of fun. Um, most of them had never even heard of Lord of the Rings because, you know, they're 13, 14. It's not, it's not that popular anymore either. So, I don't know. It was a lot of fun to watch it with them. Of course, they were all like, oh my gosh, I love this character. Like, he's so cute or she's so beautiful. And I was just like, yeah, you're welcome. Um, but yeah, so I think this will just be very interesting um, because... I have never read it. I've never, I know nothing about it. I just know it's sort of like the history, I guess, of Middle Earth. And the cover was so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got like this very beautiful sort of um, like watercolor. I don't know. It's just, I don't even, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that's supposed to be on the cover, but oh my gosh, beautiful. So, anywho. That was the other one I got. And then I have never read any of the Golden Compass books. Uh, when I was growing up, this is this feels like so conservative to say. Um, my parents, maybe not even my parents, the community felt like this was a book of evil. There were demons. Um, you know, there was all the misunderstandings that demons were evil and 
anyway, I was never allowed to read it. I wasn't allowed to watch the movies, anything like that. And then uh, when I was old enough, I sort of just lost the... I never really thought about it. You know, it wasn't something that came up. But recently with the Netflix series, which I haven't watched or anything, um, I don't know, I just thought maybe I should get back into it. And a lot of my friends have said that they really liked it. And I'm pretty sure, unless I'm totally wrong, isn't this the... Wait. Wait a second. This is not the same book, is it? I'm thinking, I was thinking this was the one that was, oh, like, anti-Chronicles of Narnia or whatever, that everyone was all like, this is a bad book. I don't know. Okay, I don't know anything about this book. I don't know if that is the same as this or if I'm crazy because the back of this makes it sound more like an adventure I don't know. So we'll read it. I have no idea. Apparently I should look this up. But I could have swore the Golden Compass was something to do with demons or something. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I got this. Uh, I should have probably told you the prices. I don't even see the price on this one anymore. I think it was like $3 that I paid. I paid about the... I think these were both like 3 bucks, And this one was... Oh my gosh, there were prices on these. I swear there were. I, I think this was like $3.99. I don't know. They weren't that expensive. And I just thought, you know what? These are books that I think would be interesting. I think I would like them. Um, so, that's what I bought. Because who can walk into Goodwill and not walk out with a book? Probably every other normal person, but not me. Like, I immediately, after I check for, like, cute sweaters in the men's section I immediately go to the books and I'm like mm, what's back here what can I get uh, anyway so moving on to the Kindle portion of this I recently got a Kindle Paperwhite I got the Paperwhite I got the waterproof corkboard cover um overall thoughts I don't know 8 out of 10 I really like it really really do not like the case. I don't like the way it feels, which is totally me. That's me. I bought it. Um, but I wanted something that was waterproof in case uh, we were actually going to Florida um, at that time. And I don't know. I just thought it would be good to have something that was waterproof. Uh, this, like I said, is the corkboard case. It is just the newest paper white, I guess, that um, was from Amazon. And then I have this beautiful Barnes and Noble uh, enamel pin on the back. It is so pretty. I love it. Here's my issue. I also got the wireless charging, um, but dumb, dumb Amber did not realize that if you put the pop socket on the back, which who's not reading with a pop socket because like, who? It won't charge. <laughs> so you gotta like take it out of the case. But I'm also like, which is fine. I have a ton of like USB C chargers. It's fine. Um, but the annoying thing is, there's like nowhere that you can put it that it would still charge. And I don't know. I want to just use it like out of the case because the, let's see if I can get it out of its case. The actual back of the Kindle is so like luxury it actually feels so good it it's not super plasticky you know it doesn't make you just feel like you're gonna drop it it, it actually has a, a little something to it i don't even know how you would describe it but it doesn't feel like it's just gonna fall out of your hands um of course they did the really stupid button on the bottom like why would you put the power button on the bottom that's so stupid um but, I mean, otherwise, I really like it. I thought what I might do is just show you guys um, or tell you guys what I've read on it so far. Uh, like I said, I, I don't even want to make this like a review or anything because it is really great. And it, it's 
pretty great for, you know, just what it is. And I've not really had any other issues with it other than minor things. Like, if you are a fast typer, forget it. Do not make notes on this thing. Trying to type on here is an actual nightmare. You have to type so slow. And if you are, I feel like if you're a millennial and lower, you're going to want to throw it out the window. I, I do like the highlighting feature. I think that's really interesting. Um, but typing notes to go along with those highlights, I would rather just like not. I'm just like, forget it. It's not worth it. Because um, it's just such an annoying thing. Uh, it just does not work out well. Um, for me, it mistypes everything that I'm writing. Um, and it's, it's awkward because, you know, it is so large it's not like a phone um so i don't know it's minor minor things uh love it at night though it really is amazing on the eyes um but yeah i'm gonna tell you guys what i've read so far because why not who else am i gonna tell you know i don't have a ton of readers uh, around me so i read the magic fish by trung lee uh nugen nugen New, New Year? I apologize. So good. Oh my gosh. Five stars. It was beautiful. It was amazing. The artwork was incredible. I loved everything about it. I also read the Enneagram Made Easy. It was alright. It. I felt like it was just like a very basic mediocre like here's an introduction like I'm not gonna give you much else uh and I'm I'm already kind of familiar with it so that to me was me uh I have Paper Towns listed as read because I had bought it and so it pops up uh, I read it last year I thought it was so boring I, I hated it I hated the ending I hated everything about it um yeah terrible book um Heartstopper Volume 1. Oh, I can't believe I haven't read this sooner. It was the most beautiful, like, amazing, just touching book ever. I need to buy it for my school library because it was so good. Uh, Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Into the Void. <clears throat> Horrible, boring, dumb, bland. It was bad. I fought the whole way to finish it. I mean, like... I was on, I was at like 75% and I was like, I'm not going to DMF this, but I'm thinking about it very seriously. Like I only read like a couple pages every night because I was like, I hate this book. I hate it. It felt like torture. Um, and it felt like torture because the characters were so inconsistent. They were so dumb. They did dumb things constantly and they're supposed to be like, Harkin criminal, super villain. The super villain was the only one that was consistent. Um, and the the Jedi, because you know they spell it funny in the book. The Jedi lady, um, she was so dumb. She was the dumbest of the dumb. She was supposed to be like a master Jedi who's seen so many battles, and she acted like she was twelve the whole book, like the whole book. It's like whatever. Perks of a Wallflower, Perks of Being a Wallflower, I did not read that recently, that's one I've read several years ago and it marked it as finished, um, beautiful, if you've not read Perks of Being a Wallflower, I really do think that that one is worth a reread if you've forgotten it, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, oh, is that all it's gonna show me? There were definitely more, um, I think... I kind of did some hacking on my Kindle with Calibre, uh, Calibre, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I kind of erased some of the things that I had marked. Um, I also read Amari and the Night Brothers. That was a really good one. Howl's Moving Castle was a really good one. Um, so far, I've really enjoyed the Kindle for the ease of getting books. So, you know, Overdrive, Throw a Library, Audible. Oh, that's right. Uh, Audible, I am, I listened to the whole first Witcher book on here. Um, I'm listening to the, the stand-in, uh, that is such a good book. It has such good Chinese representation and like Chinese American representation and 
it has some really good um, messages on like just racism but like the like nuance is is like a very big thing in this book I feel like it doesn't it's not just talking about racism like it's not like racism but like it's just in the way like I guess like microaggressions like things that are very everyday for these characters um and the way the author puts them in there is just so great like we've just got to a point where the main character is hearing these people speak um about Chinese uh Americans and Chinese people and she's like so upset and she is Chinese American and then the main character who is I think fully Chinese I'm pretty sure he's fully Chinese um and he is over here from China um he's like you know what don't don't let it bother you and she's like it is making me mad and he's just like you know, I don't want to spoil anything but basically he just he shows the audience especially like a non Chinese audience like the white audience pretty much um just different sides of things and the book is just amazing so far I've really enjoyed um some of the conversations and some of the just the things that are okay an example I will use without spoiling anything is she is obviously if you ever read the synopsis she is pretending to be this Chinese actress um so that that actress can deal with her mental health it's a really good side plot um but she basically she's worried about them getting recognized and the guy just very like bluntly says are there gonna be any Asian people there and she's like oh, I don't think so and he's like then we're not gonna get recognized and like that is such a powerful line even though it was such like a one-off line because it is true people just like if they are not involved in the culture I guess or around it they just view everyone the same and it's just like he's so right he's like he might be the most famous actor in China but these white people aren't gonna be able to tell the difference like because like of the unfortunately racist thing of they think everyone looks the same and they can barely tell the difference because and I've heard it's kind of funny I've heard like read with Cindy say you know like, I don't know it's just a white boy like they all look the same and so like if you're just not involved and around that culture enough then like yeah, I mean, I guess you just can't tell, like, the nuance or the details um, of different cultures. Anyway, that was a tangent, but it's a really good book, and you should read it. It was really good. So, I think I am going to end there. I have a lot of reading to do. Um, if you have any suggestions for books that you think I should read, I do have um, a Goodreads. I'd love to get suggestions. I typically read um I want to say I read fantasy but I feel like I might be growing out of it which is so sad but typically I read fantasy um I really enjoy books like um Stardust the Neverwhere uh series I read a lot of Star Wars Hunger Games things like that so um I'm up for anything if you think it's a good book I'm willing to try it out so Bye. Thank you for listening to my ramble. <laughs> Bye.